Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Breath Edge. So this is a game that I've been waiting for to go full release. I haven't looked at it on the channel. I picked it up a long while back and I just played it a little bit myself. And I played enough to know that uh, it wasn't feature complete. Like it was cool, but it definitely needed more time. And I waited until full release and it's done that this morning. So you can check it out now yourself if you want as well. So this is a sort of space survival stuck in a small capsule trying to get out. I, I don't really know what this full through line is, but you're essentially trapped in a space situation like a wreckage trying to get out of it. Hume is very off the wall. Um, my curmudgeon take on it last time was that I didn't love it, but I'm going in with my eyes a bit more open. So we'll see how we go. I don't know how else to describe it other than the incredibly Russian incredibly slapstick it's a very very strange like i'm pretty sure you have a wrench that's a chicken because because of fucking reasons why not but who knows let's just embrace the chaos and get into it um this potentially could be a lot of fun on the channel uh play there you go i must have played it in 2018 can i delete that delete it comrade Standard, best game mode is a moderate one. Fair enough. Emphasis, impossible, free. No, 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 I like this. I like that one. Name of the game, Breath Edge. Let's go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I like this. I like this screen a lot. Oh, all right. Well, okay, good first impression. Red Ruins software. Okay, yep. Mm. Fancy opening credits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. From the creators of the Matrix. Yeah, okay. Right. 22 awards. Oh, yeah. Some other games received. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yep, I get the joke. Look, some will love it. Oh, oh, not, not really me. Hang on, what's this? The Red Ruin Softworks team categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. Therefore, we suggest you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay, censorship. Never. I'll never approve censorship. Get fucked. Let the man smoke. But presumably you can put a banana in his hand or something like that, right? Again. Or a chicken. Time to think of how to behave during the interrogation. Remind him R2-D3. R2-D3, eh? Oh! Oh, his little legs crossed. You know, that's all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Okay. Oh, geez, that's- how much spit is that? Oh, he's got a windscreen wiper. Very good. Goodness me. from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Um, spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You better tell your story first. You can still have your defined expression. Spit or tell- okay, I can- I can keep the spit- Gag going? No, no, I'm okay. How about we play the video game? 2073, somewhere in the outskirts of the universe. That's very pretty. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Interstellar liner unnamed. Interesting. Your yogurt or someone else's ads, garbage ads could be here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's a laugh a minute, man. Do we know this bloke? Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe Activists. Promise new terrorist activities. No good. That's not good. See you later, mate. That was actually a pretty good space explosion. Like, it was a depressurization. You know, it wasn't like... <laughs> fire and brimstone or anything. I kind of like that. Chapter 1, Lost in Space. All right, let's go. You 
you lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Okay. Continue your definitely unembellished story. Okay. okay. Unreliable narrator is always interesting in video games. I think there's something to be said about it. The in-game encyclopedia can suggest the location of useful resources and their purpose. And maybe not suggest. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we'll just let this load. She's sitting on the coffin. Is that what's going on right now? Okay. Interesting. Zero meters per second. Oh, gum on my helmet. Luck, yucky. And uh, a chicken. Yes. I'm your funerary spacesuit built in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. I can read, yes. Tab inventory. Oh, uh, use. London. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. It's probably a good idea, actually. Let's plug the gas leak. I've put a chicken in the gas hole. Oh, is that chicken filling up? You'll need an object without any holes. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a fair point. All right, all I've got is a chicken. Let's, uh... To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Oh, hang on. Let's put the chewing gum. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory. This poor chicken's just passing the gas through. <laughs> oh, my God. Plug. No, I want to put the... Oh, do I put the gum in its bum? I picked the gum up. Stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funeral stick it somewhere except for your face. Oh, hang on. You All right, right, here we go. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Or become depressed. Oh, we've got gravity in here now. That's nice. Place spacesuit. Hey, about this music, let's go. Where is it? I'm trying to get closer to it. Uh, what is this? Use processor. This music slaps. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. I okay. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Right. How about this music? Water closet. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Really? See my uh, objective? Find the interphone or get depressed. Let's go with finding the interphone. You'll have to go into outer space. What's this? Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Right. Uh, take. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Summer 2008. Oh, I can turn it. Cigarette butt. Classy, okay. Alcohol, yes. New blueprint. Survival guide, what's this? I've got a cassette tape now. Hang on, insert videotape. There we go. Fuck yeah, can I get a seat? To pee or not to pee? Okay. Space, so dangerous, unpredictable, just like your bladder. Oh dear, there's a hamster in the toilet. 
Find yourself left without the most equipment in opportune moment. Don't panic. Oh my goodness, this is wrong. Yes, no, fair enough. Try to keep it all in. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. This is wrong. Okay, yep, yeah, that's okay, yep. Yeah. Explore the environment in search of aids and an analog. Yep. Yeah. What's this? Oh, okay, I can equip tank. I can find another toilet. And I can, oh, I can, oh yeah, I was gonna say, maybe don't pull your dick out in space. Collect any valuable items in space, be extremely cautious, okay? Yep, yeah, pick all the things up. Maybe, yeah, don't touch that. That's, that's also wrong, yes, no, yes. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, put the chicken in it. Oh, I see. Ch chicken dielectric, okay. With uh, due luck and diligence, you can repair most valuable equipment, okay? Oh, look at this! Look at that. Yeah, that's it. This guy gets it. I'll tell you what, that aim is bang on. Alright, cool. So I guess that's the end of that. I've learnt a lot there, actually. Alright, what's in here? Oh, is it playing it again? No, no. Um, remove tape. Little man. Kitten? Harry the cat was my first and last pet. Good. He was a proud and good one. Even the chicken respected him. At least you attack me more than him. Who's this? Always been good looking. Oh, that's me. Although my beard was not as thick in childhood, at age of three it got better. Of course, of course. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved grandpa. Oh my god. Okay, sure. Uh, what is this? I can rest. Rest is not required. I can take some rubber. We've got some more. Happy birthday, grandpa. Grandpa's portrait. I'm a bit confused why all these pictures are stuck up in here. Have I put them up? I'm sort of escorting my grandpa's dead body. Isn't that the idea? Anyway, anyway, what's this? Back scratcher. Right, okay, this is sort of a generalist inventory slot. I can't scan it. Learned a lot from the training video, yeah. What's this? Oh, yes. Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. Oh, look at that. The, the, I actually do find that funny. <laughs> but the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. All right. And then we've got more photos. Okay. I get it. I get it. All right. Now we need to go out. Check the antenna. Um, change. Right. There we go. I guess that's my default spaceship. All right. Oh shit. Shit, out we go. Oh wow, that source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. How crazy is this? All right, where's the antenna? You have very short amount of oxygen if I recall. What's that? Take nutrition package. Right. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna. Very. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the, <laughs> the steering wheel, if it's still intact. <laughs> you have great engineering like skills. skills. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current. This is really pretty out here. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visible break. deterioration. Need a handy, handy scraper. Can I equip this? No. All right, look at that. We're nearly out of oxygen. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. You are still able to become depressed. <laughs> All right, some of, look, it's more missed than hit for the humor for me. But I mean, some are probably going to be rollicking and rolling. But I'll tell you what, some of them do make me giggle. <laughs> it's this fucking fast talking robot in my head is not bad. Create a debugging station. 
Um, inventory. Processor. I want to use the processor. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Grabber. Drill. So this survival. Create a debugging... Now, hang on. Let's just make sure. Is this where it wants me to go? What is this? Onboard radio. No, no. Let's let the radio go. Create a debugging station. Right. So do I have to just keep collecting shit? Is that the idea? No, no, oh, grab it. Fuck. All right, so, hang on, what's this fist? Yeah, that's my debugging station thing. Right, okay. Just, okay. Okay, okay, we can, we can figure this out. Equipment. Is that cryptographic debugging station? So I need two wire and two metal and wire. All right, all right. What's this? Fabric. New blueprint. Okay. See now, can I? I can pull this out, can't I? She is required. Okay. Okay. Hang on. We'll get to the bottom of this. I just need to find some small balls of stuff. All right, that's ice. Ice? What are you? Goo or something. Alright, so I don't have a smasherer. And that's okay. What's up in here? Oh, hang on. What's this? Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. Metal! The biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Oh, well, that bloke's not looking so crash hot. I quite like the beautiful, peaceful music out here. What's going on here? Nutrition package, bottle of water. Grab corpse. I can flog it around. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, is this like a box? What's going on here? Oh! Fuck! Go ninja, go ninja, go! All right, let's recharge this. Oh, bit of a hitch going in there. Um, equipment, tools. All right, so I just need wire, roll of fabric, refined metal, composite, objects. Okay, cool. So I just need to find wire. That's right. We'll figure this out. Yeah, what is this here? The cup. Grandpa's mug. I'll take that. Thanks, Grandpa. Where do we go? I'm struggling to see. Cause it, like all I can pick up are like little balls at the moment. What's wire gonna look like in this environment? You know. Metal? Metal? A standard coffin at the Global Funeral Agency. The opening of the coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism, but no one will judge you if you die. Huh. My oxygen. And I have to eat and drink as well. Comrade, take care of your health. Okay. All right. We'll find this wire. Oh, fuck. God, this music reminds me of the neighborhood, man.
compartments. Nice. So I think we're going to move out of this area at some point and build a spaceship. Or, you know, like, do like a subnautica sort of thing. Oh shit, what's over here? Look at those glue blobs. Oh, are you? I think you're metal, aren't you? Shit, what happened here? I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only oh, that's a man. A damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. Oh, oh wow, they got killed by this. Look at the glue. Look at that. That looks fucking unreal. What's down in here? This is so cool. Detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk, and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris... Yellowish the liquid, eh? Means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Did hamster. I'll this take that. Hammond, although this toilet doesn't look like a man robot. Oh fuck, where's my, where's my breathing place? There it is. Alright, I got some... I got a toilet hamster and I got some... Frozen piss. This game has everything, I suppose. Alright. Gonna have to drink something at some point. It's alright. Let's go explore down here. Freezing d oh no, we don't want that. Let's get away from there. Uh I need wire. I can't find this wire bullshit. Alright, hang on. So I need a, a breaking tool. Oh hang on. No, that's metal. Maybe I can build something to break these things. Oh, now that's using your fucking noodle, Scarlet. Booyah. It's my favorite song. Um, okay, equipment. I need wire. God damn it. Alkali. Refined metal. Let's make refined metal just so so we've got it. Maybe it gives us more stuff. Yellowish water. Let's make that. I already, I've already got bulk of that. Okay. Alright, so I definitely need wire. Now, what is this thing? You can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else. So this is my grabber, right? Alright, okay. Need a handy scraper. Come on, game, you're killing me. You're killing me, game. I want wire. I don't understand. Can't break these things. What's this? Extract plastic. I need a scraper. Over here, maybe? Some stuff down there. Fuck, I'm going around of O2. Game mentioned something that might or might not give you hints. Try and find that. 
Look, at this point, if someone knows how I can find wire, I'll, I'll, t I'll I will take that advice. Didn't it say I could flush this to get external shit? I'm just going to have to keep exploring further and further, I guess. Like, I don't mind having to figure it out for yourself. That's, you know, that's all good. We knew something sparking. Oh, oh, oh. Wiring. Boys, don't, I, I told you I knew exactly where to go. Don't worry about it. You can break some radios? No, I can't do it yet because I need to build the tool to break the radios. And uh, I don't have the gear to make that. All right, here we go. Processor. Um, here we go. Look at this. Cryptographic debugging station. Um. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer. Oh, debug. Your and your space will automatically <laughs> take the body to order from okay, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's that's how we debug, is it? Attention all survivors, a rescue shuttle Hope has rescue been sent from your nearest evacuation point. Slight malfunction, the estimated to arrival of the rescue team is 4,000 years. Huh. Create the crap imposed by the developers and put in your hands. Ah. Hang on. Handy scraper. Here we go. There we go, boys. That's what we need. Okay, cool. So just finding that first bit of cable was what was fucking us a bit. Just need a little bit more metal because I spent... Oh, look, I can fucking see cable now that I know what it looks like. Look at this. All right, I need little metal balls. There's a little metal ball. One metal ball. Two metal ball. Three metal ball. Babe, incredible. Survived one. I see your avatar online. Oh, wow. Jesus, look at those. That is an interesting profile pic. The camera's a bit low there. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. What's this? Crap imposed by the developers. Oh, okay. That's pretty funny. How very meta. Um, handy scraper. Let's go. Well, I don't mind meta, but like going, hey, you literally have to build this thing to get to the next part. And the joke is because we impose it on you. I'm like, oh, you're rolling the dice there. I'm not sure everyone's going to find that super funny. But hey, you know what? Humor is subjective. All right. So we've got the handy scraper. This. Which looks identical to the debugging machine. Interesting. Cool. So now we can probably smash some of those bigger blocks. So we're making progress. So yeah, look, this seems really cool. I actually, I really like the setting. I like, I, I love the outside and you know, how it goes from listening to weird fucking poppy Russian music in here to going outside into the, the cool space and the interesting sort of environmental storytelling. Hi, babe. I'm very beautiful. You save me. I beg. I'm completely alone. Take off your helmet. You may hear me cry. Okay, right. Um, humor is You're fucking weird, man. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to pause that because the game's just going to keep bombarding me. Anyway, look, it's it seems cool. It seems good. I'd like to play some more, um, potentially stream it, potentially put some more episodes out. Depends on what people want to see. It's in full release now. 
So check it out if you're curious. At the very least, the gameplay loop seems good. So, and the, look, the humor's a bit weird, but it's not abrasive at all. Like, I'm sitting here going, okay, that's a bit strange. And some of them make me laugh, but none of it's just like fucking terrible, you know? So it's nothing that's going to really hurt your experience, I don't think. Um, so your mileage will vary, but the gameplay loop seems pretty solid, actually. And it looks like there's a lot more to go as well. It looks like you can build upgrades and that sort of stuff, so that's pretty cool. Alright team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you on the next one.